what I want to show you right now is how to access the Pantone color libraries. Now the file that I have open here, you can just disregard for now because we're just strictly going to go to the library that we want and it's in our swatches. So I can go to window or view. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I can go to window swatches or I can click this here. That's my swatches and just break it off. Now here you're going to find your additional menus and you're going to go to open swatch library and you're going to go to color books and here's where you see the Pantone guides. So all of these different uh, Pantone guides are going to refer to a uh, booklet of Pantone printed colors that your print provider will have on hand, whether it's for coated paper or uncoated. This would be CMYK equivalents. Bridge, I uh, don't use a lot. Metallic, of course, self-explanatory. Pastels and neons are relatively new. Main colors you're going to see having been used throughout uh, the last few decades, I suppose, are your solid coated and uncoated. So you just click on that, and there's your Pantone colors. What I like to do for a better view is again go to the sub menu and adjust my view by name. I'm going to go to large list view. And here you go. Anyone who has seen the Pantone color book will start shaking their head yes right now because they're seeing all these colors and the numbers are formulaic and they do refer to the color book. So in the color book, that's where your print provider will have the formulas to mix this ink. So there you go. And now the one last thing I want to show you is how to convert uh, some of the colors that you have already currently in your document to Pantones. So this is a gradient here. So I'm going to open up my gradient so I can adjust the color gradient. And here's what we have is this red. And then it's, other than that, it's just the white. So let's open up our CMYK sliders here. CMYK, show options. I'm going to do another tutorial on, uh, or a quick uh, overview on CMYK. So here you can see that this red, if I click on it now, that shows up in your CMYK equivalents. And what we're going to do is just drag a Pantone. I'm going to drag one right onto this gradient area. I could also drag it into um, the swatches directly. Now where did my swatches go? Window, swatches. There we go. So I'm going to find a red that I like. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. Here we go. 485. Look, I can drag it there, or I can drag it here. Just dragged it on, and I'm just going to pull this one off. Now I have a color separated document. And the way you check, the way you test that is you go to your uh, window, separations preview, and something must, you kind of need to go to overprint preview in your view. View, again, I had to get the overprint preview. Still not getting color separations preview for some reason. I just switched to this Adobe CC and that might be part of the problem. Um, preview on CPU. You know, you can see right here this gradient slider. When I select it, notice right here, Pantone 485. Okay, so we are selected as a Pantone. Now, I, my issue was why am I not seeing a separations preview? This is your pre press, uh, you know, a 
accomplishment and I can't see it. The reason why was just a basic newbie mistake that I made here, which was my document color mode. And um, that needs to be in CMYK because um, Pantone is replicated within, uh, I guess, the CMYK engine. So here we go. Switching to that. Did you see that pop up? All right. Here we go. Overprint preview. Now, you're going to see when I on when I release the eyeball here, you're going to see nothing. And again, this shows you that our separations are accurate. A little hiccup there, but um, that's about it. Thanks for checking out the video.